what we did is we asked the students um, in their wildest imagination and their wildest dreams without thinking of any monetary barriers or anything that would prevent it, what would they, um, what kind of supports would they like to see to enhance their music department. We got ideas from we need new microphones, we need a new drum set, we need um, some new wind instruments, um, even one, one lady said we need, if we grow the uh, marching band how we envision, we're going to need an additional instructor because one teacher won't be enough. Um, there was an idea for them to have a recording studio where they could make music and other kids from the community could make music at that space. Um, and so we wanted to get a sense from the young people what they would like to see in the music department as well as then we had um, the administrators from Rise Academy speak to the school administration about the feasibility of what they needed and what, like from what the kids said, what would be possible and what would they like to see as well for the music department. And so from those conversations, now we take that back. I go back to my boss, continue to communicate with Mr. Kilgore. Um, we reached out to an organization earlier today that they are already well embedded with music donation or music instrument donation drives. So we want to talk to them about best practices, how they go about um, distributing 20,000 instruments in the past 20 years um, to pick their brain. How did you all do that? And so we want to try to employ similar practices here um, with the base being in Atlanta and utilizing our networks throughout the U.S. to like, do donations and then bring them here. And that's the overall goal.